they bees? What are they? Bees? Are they bees or flies? They look like bees. Oh wow, that is incredible. Oh my god. Look at these. I just walked outside to this crazy noise. Can you see all those bees? The noise is crazy. Can you see all those bees? That is insane. They're all swarming for some reason. We better go inside, Walt. Yeah. You don't want to get bitten. Ooh. Ooh. And not get bitten and things. Wow. They are everywhere. I thought they might have been in the pine trees, but it looks like they're hanging around that. Even the teddy can't get Fig tree. Stings. I'm just going to check on our hive. The teddy can't get stings. Don't sting teddy, that's right. Just going to check our hive. Get Hopefully they form up into a into a bit of a swarm and then we can collect them up. See our hive, Bola? Oh, they're definitely all flying around our hive. Wow, that is incredible. Still plenty of bees near our hive. That's incredible. What is it? It's incredible. It's what? It's incredible. Incredible. Oh. Just don't be careful where you walk in the grass, mate. Oh, the bees are swarming. Our beehive is just through the trees there. <clears throat> and they're all in the sky. <clears throat> one, 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 oh. that's your back. Yeah, we gotta be really careful, Well, We don't get stung. I can't tell, but they could. There's a little black dot right there. I think they're swarming around. Look at the bees. That's not a house. Outside from morning tea and there was this crazy noise. It sounded like a pump was on. And there was just bees everywhere. All over here, there was bees everywhere. Now they've sort of traveled up into this tree, this fig tree, and you can see a really dark spot right there. That's where they're swarming. I don't know if that means that, because we have two brood boxes. I don't know if that's one of them trying to start a new hive up there. Like they're swarming to start a new hive or I'm not sure what's going on. So I'm going to get in touch with our beekeeper and see what he says. I, now that they've all calmed down over here, so we're all flying around here, they were in the grass or everywhere. Now that it's calmed down, I'm actually gonna go over here. And it sounds like there's still a lot of bees in our hive, but I sort of wanna open it up and just see because I was keeping a close eye on it. It's gonna be a bit dangerous because they're very active today and if I start to do anything I think they'll be on to me. I just sort of want to open it up and see how many bees are in the hive just in case it's all our bees leaving. Um, I probably have to get in touch with the beekeeper urgently and get him to bring them back and somehow keep our bees um, because I have heard of people losing their bees. I'm only new to beekeeping but I have heard of people losing their bees this way, so. Okay, so um, I can rule out the fact that that hive is full of honey because they haven't filled the last window and it's not capped. So they haven't filled the hive um, and I don't know why they would be swarming. I'm just going to get in contact with the beekeeper and see see what he thinks. It's quietened down so much now and they're all in the tree together. There's a few still flying around but there's a really big black spot up in that tree. I'm going to try and get a bit closer.
gearing up to go and catch a swarm of bees. I'm pretty sure it's from my hive and I don't think it's cause for alarm because I have two brood boxes and it still sounds like there's a lot of bees in there. Um, I can't get a hold of my beekeeper right now. So I'm just gonna try and give it a go and catch them and um, uh, <clears throat> make a decision on what happens to the bees after that. Um, either um, I will start a new beehive they're up quite high, so I need a ladder. <laughs> Either I'll use them to start a new beehive or I will just give them to the beekeeper. And he will do with them what he wants to do with them. I can't get that down. I'm holding you guys. Hmm. What I'm going to do, I need to find some mesh that's going to work as a queen excluder once I get the bees into a box, I need to put some mesh on the opening of the box that will stop the queen escaping because uh, the bees will stay where the queen is. I'm just not really sure <laughs> what that's gonna look like. The queen is quite a lot larger than the worker bees, so. Um, mesh that won't let the bee out the, the queen out but we'll still let the workers in because we want them to come in and stay in the box um not sure not sure not sure not sure i'll have to find something i found this tray from my incubator uh, the holes are too big on it um so i'm going to try and put it with another bit of mesh so that i can um I make the holes just a little bit smaller so that the queen won't be able to get out but the bees will okay i've got myself a box i've got myself a queen excluder or the best queen excluder i can come up with important note here um i'd say i'm semi-allergic to bees and petrified of them um <laughs> and i don't recommend doing this but um I feel okay doing it and I feel like uh, I might have a little bit of success so I'm gonna run with it Let's see how we go what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna climb the ladder I'm going to shake all the bees off the branch all the bees that I can I'm going to put them into that box um, in the hope that the Queen will be in there and then I'm going to put a Queen excluder on which is just mesh on top of that to hold the Queen in there and then I will flip it upside down so the queen excluder is on the bottom. I'm going to put something under it so that it's a little bit up off the ground, propped off the ground. And then hopefully the bees will signal uh, that the queen is in there. And uh, they will fly down and join her. And then we'll be able to, in the afternoon when they've stopped flying around, come and um, put something over the top. Um, and move them when they're all in there so that they don't get out too upset. Or lost. Apparently this is when the bees are quite calm so they shouldn't be too aggressive i don't even know if i'm gonna be able to reach it at this stage it actually looks a lot higher than what i thought it was but i'll climb the ladder and see it's quite a big swarm you can see right there see how i go away eh? this actually makes me feel sick at the thought of this because i really really don't want to get stung but I've got all my gear on, so hopefully I'll be fine. I really have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> I should be doing this, but anyway. There's no way I'm gonna reach it, so I'm gonna have to go and grab a rope and I'm gonna chuck a rope over the branch and lower it down and hopefully get the bees off that way.
I've got to the branch below and it's pulling the bees down, but they're up so high I can't reach their branch. So I'm gonna maneuver my ladder and see if I can get at them from a different angle. They're too high, I can't reach them. I've tried a few different ways and I can't reach them. Um, so what I'm gonna do is maneuver my ladder again and try and whack the nest down into my box. That's all I can do apart from that. I'll just have to leave it. So I'll see if that might be a better option um, and see what I can do there. But otherwise I'm gonna have to leave it. I don't wanna disrupt them too much and them to swarm somewhere else. So um, I'll only do it if I think it's gonna um, work. Officially my worst nightmare. Officially my worst nightmare. Without another person, I can't get it. I've tried gently pulling it down and rubbing, like putting it into the box, brushing it into the box, but I can't pull the branch down and brush it into the box at the same time, so. I'm just making them pretty cranky, so I'm just gonna leave it. If they wanna go into the box, they can go into the box, but there's a thunderstorm coming and um, I don't know what that means for them, but uh, I suppose I should just go check my hive again and just make sure, but it's not really much I can do, I think. That was easiestly one of the scariest things I've ever done. When I hit the branch to get the bees um, into the box, they just swarmed all around my head there was multiple multiple bees stinging my hands um two got me i just stood really really still i felt one in my hair um but it was sort of crawling around in there and i just managed to squash it before it stung me which was lucky um but i just froze as soon as i started to feel bites i just froze because i really didn't want to get bitten i only got bitten on my hand um, God, they're so scary. I cannot even begin. Like cows, cows are cows are scary, but bees are bees. Are, I'm most scared of bees. I don't. I can't really feel the one in my hand. I'm gonna go and take an antihistamine and um, take it easy for a little while. But that was crazy. I think if they were lower, I would have been fine. I would have just hit them into the box. But because I couldn't quite reach them when I went to brush them into the box. Um, only a few of them came down and that just made the swarm really angry. I put as many as I could into the box and I flipped it upside down. So by chance, if I did get the queen, um, they should all go into the box, but I will find out, um, if they empty the box or if they come back. come through and they are still sitting there very quietly. Nobody's flying. Not many are flying. They're all just sitting there protecting the queen, I think. The ones that I did get into the box, they're no longer in the box.